Montenegro. Tree way too long. So it's not late, it's after sunset, it's maybe 6 o'clock or so, and if one noticed one thing, I'm in the northern area of Ponta Negra, um, and it's, you know, it's nice and clean, and it has the modern hotels and all the fenced and gated um, condominiums. There's no one on the street here. There's absolutely no one walking around here. This hotel right here on the left is where I stayed. What a couple nights, you know, three nights before I went to Pipa. But there's no foot traffic down here at all. Contrast that to where I am in the southern end, and 
the shops are open. They're selling t-shirts and beer and drinks and pastels and everything. Um, down here, you can hear a pin drop. Just to contrast that again, this is looking north along the coast. This is looking south. There's no one walking around. Everyone is all safely in their sterile hotels and condos for the evening so they can enjoy their soulless, characterless rooms, cable TV, and Wi-Fi. So we're going to go hit up a dive bar, which I discovered the first night I was here, next to the food truck court, actually. I thought, hey, food truck court, let's check it out. Boy, the place next door is awesome. And they're friendly, and they don't like Trump either. So we're going to go check them out. So, as you can tell, including the dude selling pizza out of his car, uh, there's a lot more going on at this end of town than there is in the rich white people north end of town. Um, I don't know why you would stay all the way up there, just locked in your stupid little luxury apartments with Wi-Fi. I don't understand. Um, this is international people watching on a grand scale, and it's hilarious. So it's not quite six in the morning and a uh, drastic change from last night. There's hardly anyone out here. A couple of surfers out in the water, a couple of the stand-up paddleboard folks. Um, great sunrise this morning, but uh, not a lot of foot traffic. Um, pretty quiet for a Tuesday morning in Natal, Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil. So again, the tides are everything. Right now, um, it's almost high tide, and which makes the beaches almost unusable uh, until the vendors set up there sombreros here between the breakers and the, and the street. Um, low tide I think is like 10 this morning, um, in which case there's a good 300 feet of beach here, sandy beach anyway. So this is it, this is Mahol de Careca, this is Bald Hill, uh, it's, it is a protected area, you're not, no people or buggies or anything, uh, I don't remember how high it is, but it's, it's easily a good 300 feet or so up, um, and it's got warnings, do not climb any of this here. This is a great uh, skyline shot of the uh, city of Natal right now. So you tell already just a little bit we've been walking, the tides dropped considerably. Um, and so I would imagine in the next little bit you're going to see all these vendors 
with chairs and sombreros and Kipuina carts uh, setting up down here or beginning to on the beach getting ready because uh, there's money to be made at low tide. <laughs>